Hi, my name is Brendan. I'm with Family Piano here in Waukegan. Uh, we wanted to do a quick side-by-side-by-side -by -side -by -side comparison of our mid-range and upper-end digitals, uh, comprising primarily of our Kawhi inventory. So in this video, we're going to briefly go through each model, playing them side-by-side, -side, talking about the navigation and some of the feature differences between all of them. Um, there's a lot of information on each instrument that is available on the manufacturer websites, kawaiius.com, if you're looking for a specific specification. Or what's probably easier is if you just want to contact us. Uh, my email is brendan, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, at familypiano.com. Uh, you can also call our store number, 847-775-1988, um, or reach out to us via our website. So um, here's a brief tour, side by side by side, of our mid-range and upper-end digitals. I want to start off here with the Kawhi CN29. Um, with most digital pianos, um, the manufacturer will typically have a uh, more basic version of the instrument and more full-featured version. So we've got the CN29 here, the CN39. So between these two, this is one that's going to have, I believe, 18 or 19 different sounds um, and a more uh, slim user interface. I'm going to play a little on here, show you a little of the user interface, and then compare it to the CN39, and then we're going to kind of move up the product line up. Nice instrument here. Um, on the uh, user interface, uh, Kawhi actually just updated it for the CN29. Uh, this little uh, screen right here, it's small, but it has a lot of information and you can do quite a bit with it. If you go into the menu, um, you can scroll up and down through quite a few things that you can control that you wouldn't expect on an instrument at this price point um, to be able to control, like reverb, to be able to transpose easily, control tone in a bunch of different ways. Um, dual allows you to play two different sounds at the same time. Um, four hands is a very easy mode where you can have the keyboard set up for four different hands. Um, you can also adjust the tuning on here. So just to highlight, every digital in here um, requires zero tuning. You don't need to tune it. This will allow you to adjust the tuning um, in some interesting ways that some players like. You can adjust the touch on it. On um, pretty much every instrument um, that we're gonna be looking at, you can adjust the touch. And what this means is we're not gonna physically change the uh, anything physical under the hood. We're gonna change how the computer reacts to how you play. So it reacts as if it's a heavier piano, reacts as if it's a lighter piano. It's a pretty cool effect that gives you more control as a player and as a student. Um, and then you can change uh, even particular parameters like the damper noise and key volume and um, all sorts of stuff. And you can change how it starts up, um, which instrument um, for starting up, um, headphone type. So, and they also introduced Bluetooth MIDI in here. So this is going to be something we're going to be talking about throughout this video. Bluetooth MIDI is a MIDI transmitter that allows you to wirelessly send your performance data into um, apps on your uh, smartphone, on your tablet, into your computer, and that allows you to like play games and um, do edit the performance data uh, in your editing um, recording software. So uh, Bluetooth MIDI unlocks a world of possibilities that we'll, we'll look at. Um, so this has Bluetooth MIDI. Um, you can also have the display turn off. There's a lot of control in here, and this, this nice color touchscreen is nice. Another thing I want to highlight here is the music section. Um, they have certain things in here that will demo music, etc. Um, but the concert magic is one that I particularly like. So this is fun. So Twinkle Twinkle on this. Let's go ahead and play Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> Kawhi is going to line up the right note to play. Um, this is a fun way for your kids or a family member to have a great first experience with piano, have a blast, feel like a rock star the very moment they sit down at the instrument. There's still musicality though to it. You can mess it up. So there is uh, a real bit of musicianship that does go into playing it expressively. 
Um, although you don't have to necessarily know all the technique and everything else. So this is a really fun option that is exclusive to Kawhi. No other manufacturer has this. Um, and is on pretty much all of their products. It's the Concert Magic setup. Um, and then you might have seen on the screen there's a lesson option. Um, basically what that means is um, there's a partnership with Alfred. So a lot of the books um, line up. So um, Alfred 1A, 1B, and then some um, pu public domain uh, lesson programs like Bayer and some pr um, items from Bergmuller, um, Cherney, uh, some Chopin stuff in here. So there's some uh, real fun stuff to look at on the CN29. Now I want to look at the CN39 right here. This is going to feature um, the exact same action of the CN29. This It's part of the uh, responsive hammer action series. This is an action model originally from the RH1, and now these feature the RH3. So Kawhi will typically update their actions every few years, make little tweaks, improvements, and over time they've come up with a very, very nice feel um, for their for their actions. Um, so there's there's a lot to the feel of uh, the responsive hammer series. That's what's in both CN29 and this CN39 right here. Um, this one does have uh, substantially larger speakers for a bigger fuller sound um, for it. So that's a little here. Now if you'll notice on the color touch screen, or the, the, the um, navigation right here, you've got a lot more buttons. It makes it a lot easier to navigate to the specific sounds you want. So you've got the piano one, category and we can scroll through to different specific sounds uh, go to the electronic piano section and find different electronic piano sounds harpsichord and mallet section um, some fun ones there um, and on the other ones there's a ton of different sounds that are under this one has like 300 plus sounds under the hood this one also features um, in here the virtual technician which gives you a lot more control over the um, uh, parameters so that you can go ahead and adjust not only the touch but some of the voicing, damper resonance, string resonance, cabinet resonance, key off noise, hammer, I mean just it's incredible the amount of um, options for, for changing including historic temperaments, historic tunings um, in here and how the pedal is adjustable um, is just, it's just absolutely lovely. Um, this one also has in it um, let me see here. We've got some uh, easy transpose options, tone control, uh, the tuning split is a little easier on here. Um, the Bluetooth settings, they have both Bluetooth MIDI that the CN29 has. This one also has Bluetooth audio. CN29 does not. CN39 for the Bluetooth audio, basically it's going to receive um, Bluetooth audio from your phone, from your tablet, your computer, and you can stream um, anything from Spotify, from YouTube, from Netflix. All of that sound can come out of this lovely uh, sound system that you have in your living room. Um, so the Bluetooth audio is great for that. And if you plug in headphones, you can play along with your favorite songs all silently to the rest of the world. So um, the Bluetooth audio is a real nice addition for the CN. 20, or CN39 right here. I want to show you uh, two related pianos. We have the CA48 right here and the CA58. These are um, very close to the CN29, CN39. So the CA, CA48 is very similar to the um, CN29. That's right next to it. Um, do notice that it has the um, but, you know, a very similar touchscreen to what was in the CN27, the previous generation. So the screen is, is a little more basic, but the nice thing about the CA40 and the CA58 is these both have the Grand Feel Compact. So this is a Grand Feel action for the Grand Feel Compact that's in these two. The stick is, is a touch shorter, um, but you have a real spruce wooden key stick under the hood that um, just feels great. So um, you get, uh, for not much of a price difference between the CN29 to the CA48, um, kind of an upgraded wooden key stick action, uh, which is real nice. And very similar, you'll notice on the 
um, CA58. This is basically the same thing as the CN29, but with that um, upgraded wooden key stick action for the CA58. So we've got that here. Now we've got kind of the upper end digitals that I want to show you. Um, also part of the CA, the Concert Artist series from Kawhi, is we've got the CA78. So this is one that has the Grand Feel 2 action. This is going to be longer than the Grand Feel Compact of the CA48, CA58. This is going to have the Grand Feel 2 action, um, which is going to be a little longer in here. So it's going to be a nicer feeling action with a better control as you're playing here. The other couple of things that you'll notice is it has this lovely color touchscreen right here that uh, makes it very easy to go in and navigate. So the navigation system is going to be pretty different. Um, this is a much closer to people's phones in your pocket and I, I find it a little more intuitive. Um, in here you'll notice there's a pianist mode. So this is a new sound engine that Kawhi developed um, for the um, for this series, and um, basically it's just optimized for making the best possible piano sound, as well as new samples. So you've got new, you know, they hook up microphones, they record samples, and they have a new sound engine for processing those samples. So this is all optimized around the best possible piano sound. This was new uh, for the CA-78. So let me play a little here for you. This has the Bluetooth MIDI, um, Bluetooth audio, um, some great sounds under the hood. Uh, you also have a favorites section that allows you to tweak um, and make all these adjustments to the sound and then save it as a favorite. So you can quickly pull up a variety of favorites depending on the style or the players in your home. Um, so the CA78 right here. The CA98 is very similar. There's a few extra sounds in it, but the big difference is this one actually has a wooden sound on the back. So you actually have a big piece of spruce on the back, and the um, speaker, the transducer, is actually bolted onto the spruce soundboard, so the whole thing vibrates. You can't probably see it. Um, you don't want it vibrating like crazy, but it's vibrating and it adds a nice warmth overall to the sound. So I'm going to play a little bit here overall um, so we can kind of play it. CA-78, CA-98, and um, typically Kawhi uh, develops their product, you know, releases new versions of, of their models uh, every three or four years. Um, they actually recently surprised us with the brand new CA-79 and CA-99, so updating um, these two models. And we actually have them here, which we're really, really excited to show you. Um, so I'm going to start with the CA-79, uh, which is on this side right here and um, a, there's a, a number of nice refreshes on the case itself it's a little more rounded corners they made some nice little updates this is the rosewood finish also comes in the satin black uh, i believe the polished ebony and i believe white um, so it's, it's a nice um, furniture um, styling um, let me play a little here for you so new out of the box, I think my coworker forgot to plug in the uh, pedals for it. Um, yep. So I'm going to play something without pedals and uh, we'll, we'll plug it in for the next video. Piano here. 
Um, also, notice here they made some tweaks to the um, UI, the user interface, on the um, uh, instrument here. So the navigation's a little bit different, um, and it makes it a little bit easier to um, go through and um, pick different sounds. So it's a nice new interface on here with the sounds and music and all of that. So, um, so this is the CA-79. And then for the CA-99, I'm going to invite a much better piano player than I uh, to play a little bit on, on his favorite instrument right here. So, Max, if you want to play a little bit on the CA-99, this one features the um, soundboard on the back. So, like we were shown before. Um, and it looks more like a regular piano. So if you'll notice, the, the, the styling here is much more like a regular piano with a fall board here. CA-99, once again, is the action, which, you know, in my opinion as a pianist is, you know, comparable even to very, you know, very nice acoustic uprights. It's right in that category, something this realistic. And I want to note that the, um, the action on the CA-98 is the Grand Feel 2. They did um, make some tweaks, and now this is the Grand Feel 3 action here. So they are different feeling instruments. It is. It is definitely different feeling. And, you know, just a few weeks ago, if you asked me, I would have told you the CA-98 had the best feeling action in the digital that I'd ever played. Mm -hmm. um, and then just about a week ago, we finally got the 99 in, and my mind was just blown. Yeah, we've all been really, really happy with the action on the CA-79 and the CA-99, so uh, the Grand Field 3 action is definitely a winner in our book. Um, so this is a, a quick uh, overview of the Kawais and our mid-range and upper end. I do want to show one or two other instruments. Um, we do have a few Rolands. We carry primarily Roland uh, for specific instruments, including some of the stage pianos that they carry are quite excellent. This is kind of a cool one, the DP-603. It has a kind of an unusual case one of the reasons why we carry it here. Um, so this is one that actually folds into uh, a desk here. Um, so it can be very, very practical in a space that maybe doesn't have a lot of, um, in a home that doesn't have a lot of space. Um, the other nice thing about this is that it has um, one of their best actions in it. So this is the PHA 50 action, um, and it's just absolutely lovely. And it has very nice speakers in it. Um, a lot, quite a bit down here. So, um, so we're going to play a little bit for comparison, the Roland DP-603. very nice smooth experience mm -hmm. um, you know especially with, with a digital that's something you know that you're really looking for is nice smooth you know, refined and it has a lot of control over those little nuances yes so um, one thing to note is when we had the action right here of the um, Kawai RH series um, this is a graded hammer action um, this is uh, obviously from Kauai, it's going to be similar in the Roland. The big difference is, is that uh, right here, where you've got kind of the plastic, you actually have a wood elements in the um, Roland. So it has a um, uh, nice wood 
um, element in it, and that just kind of adds to the realism of the of the action here. So that's one I really like. Um, another instrument that's similar is the Roland FP30 right here. So this is more of a slab style instrument with the same pH 50 action in it. Um, and this is one that is very, very powerful for the full sound. So we'll play a little on this and we'll wrap it up. some different EQ controls on here. So we have a different navigation. And then you can also plug a microphone in it. So if you're interested in more of a slab style um, instrument, please reach out to us. We actually have a, a wider variety at our Gulf Mill location, but uh, we wanted to showcase at least one of these in our upper end um, digital uh, review here. So um, that's it for this video and uh, stay tuned for more.